I'm Heidi Harris. I'm a realtor in Raleigh, North Carolina with the Home Sweet Heidi team. And this is going to be my video studio. The studio is eight by 11, so we're not working with a whole lot of room, uh, but I'm gonna walk you through everything that I bought and why I bought it and uh, show you exactly how we get it all set up. Everything that I bought for the studio, I got on Amazon, so I'm gonna put links for it. Um, but the biggest issue with doing videos in here is the windows are top to bottom. So I found these, the ultimate 100% blackout. So it is, let me open it for you. It's like a sheet that you can stick to the window, which will block out all of the light. And I got two of them just because the window is so big. It's, it's just a pure blackout sheet. So that's really gonna help me with making sure there's not a whole lot of glare. Okay, I'm gonna go through what I bought and why I bought it. The first thing is I bought these on Black Friday, they were on sale. These are little foam squares that I can put up on the wall. So what I'm gonna do is this is actually gonna be the wall that I'm gonna be recording up against. So it's gonna be behind me, but I'm gonna put up the foam on this wall to help absorb my voice so that when I'm speaking, it's not like a big echo. Um, super cheap. I don't know, what do you think that is? A 10 pack or so? One, two, three, four, five, six, 12 pack. Um, so I'll be putting those against the wall right there, just gonna hang it up with glue. Um, the video camera. I got the Sony a7 III. Why? My videographer told me to get this. So um, he said that for my needs, this is gonna be best. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it set up in here, but then I'm also gonna be able to just take it off the tripod and take it with me if I need it for anything out in the field. The lens that I got is the Sony FE 24-70 millimeter. I don't, very expensive. <laughs> but my videographer told me to do it, so this is what I'm gonna do. It's an investment to put out quality content, but it's worth it. He told me to get a couple of these SD cards. So I got two. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, these are shelves. So what I wanna do is when I'm shooting the videos, I want the background to have dimension on it. So I'm gonna paint this wall black and then I'm going to, I ordered a neon sign that's coming in and then I'm gonna have shelves on the other side of the neon sign. I'm gonna put these up and put something on it. Actually, I ordered, let's see if that came in. This might be it. Yeah, so I ordered a fake plant to put on it because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create dimension and something interesting in the background without it being distracting. So with the neon sign, that's gonna be a focal point. So everything else I'm trying to make sure that it's very soft and pretty, um, but not really an attention grabber. I will make it look pretty, but I'm gonna put that on one of the shelves just to hang over, just to add a little bit of interest in the background. Um, while we're talking about background, I, again, didn't want it, I wanted it to be like cool, classy, not distracting. So I got these, which are drop light holders. Um, there's three of them. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take it in between here. Um, so they're actually going to hang up on the wall and then drop down. Um, and then I got these lights. Um, they are the Edison lights and I got them in warm white. I didn't want it to be super white. If you don't know what warm white is, it's more of like an antique looking um, light. And I got it in a 40 watt instead of a 60 watt. Again, I just didn't want it to be too powerful. And the Edison style just adds a little bit of interest. So this is what the lights look like right there. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be black wall drop lights with the 40 watt light bulb, um, two shelves, one of them with that green plant. And then I'm not sure about the other one yet. I'm gonna figure that out. Now for lighting. I'm going to absolutely destroy the name, so. Um, the lighting set that I got, and I'll leave it here, 
is, how do, how do you say this? Fabitech? Fabitech. So, and I've got the lights, you can see them, um, that light. It's set up, I've plugged it in, I know it works. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is just play around with the lighting a whole lot before I commit to anything. And these, I mean, they're, they're mobile. I can just pick them up and move them, so that's super easy. What else? Oh. Um, in college, I was a video broadcast major, so I know enough to be a little dangerous when it comes to doing videos. And I know that the sound is huge. So um, I got these and I will link them worth the price. Um, the, the stuff that I selected, I, I wouldn't say that any of it is like the best in the field, but all of it's very high quality. I want when people see our videos to get a sense for who we are and also know that it's worth investing in things to get a good product because that's what we do for our listings. Before you have to ask, yes, I'm wearing a poncho. I got so excited to start painting that I didn't want to go home and change, but I selected this color. Um, what I wanted to do is I want a flat black, as you can see right here. You can see where it's still wet and how it's shiny. And then the pieces that are um, completely dry, it's just a flat black. It looks really nice. What I don't want is when I film, I don't want anything to reflect. So that's why I chose this color. Um, I'm gonna get back to it right now, but I just, I promised that I'd keep you updated as I did all this. So this is my, my little check-in here. Okay guys, so I'm back. Today I am going to cut in the rest of the paint around the edges here. I was trying to get away without doing it, but I feel like it just really stands out. So I'm gonna be cutting in the paint there. I got the blackout shades up. Can you see, yeah, see they're falling down in a corner. Um, I like this brand. The stick is not nearly what I hoped it was. It would be. So I've gotta figure out a really great way to get them to stick against the windows. Um, originally I only put up three sticks on each of them because you'll see they come with like these uh, little glue tabs. And then since that didn't work, then I did it every foot. And I guess that side just wasn't enough to hold up. <laughs> but I'll get there. Um, yesterday had some movement here. So we got the uh, camera is in and charging the field mount. I did not talk to you about that. I've got to find the box for that to tell you what I bought and why. Um, and then today I'm going to be charging all of the microphones here. Um, oh, and I found out that the tripod that I have won't work. So I bought this one years ago and it's a tripod that, you can probably see it better there. See how it's like, I don't know, maybe like six inches right here. I need a much wider tripod because when you go like this, it's kind of wobbly and putting camera equipment on there is not going to be as competent as I want it to be. So I need to get a new tripod. Um, the lighting is up. I bought a three set of the lighting. As you'll see, only two fit in here, um, which is fine. I'll figure out something to do with the third one. I'm sure of it. Okay, so the field monitor, I bought this. Um, Shinobi, I guess is how it's pronounced, I'm not sure. Um, but I was told that the brand mattered. The brand is Atomos, <laughs> A-T-O-M-O-S, I'm not really sure. Anyway, um, this is the one that I got. I found it on Amazon. The reason that I got it is because when I'm talking, as I'm sitting here and I'm talking to the camera, I'm gonna be hitting the camera and then running around and sitting. And I wanted to be able to see what my camera is looking at before I actually start speaking. I just didn't wanna go on a roll and say something and then I come back and realize I'm completely out of frame. So this just gives me a viewfinder of what the camera is seeing, which will be great. It mounts directly above the camera, right here. So that as it's rolling, the, the you'll be able to see right here, which will be good. Um, so I didn't realize how expensive these were gonna be. It's just nothing I ever thought to price before. 
So when I got on Amazon, I found um, this one that was used and it said it was in good condition. So I thought, what the heck, I'll just try it. I think it was like a hundred some bucks. So I bought this. The only problem is it doesn't have the HDMI cable that is supposed to come with it. So I ordered that on Amazon. It's like $9, so it'll be fine. Today, I am cutting in the paint, as I said, to make sure that everything looks really nice. My neon sign should arrive sometime next week. And that's when I can really start decorating. So I'll be sure to fill you guys in on that. Hey, it's me again. <sighs> blackout shades will not stay up. They keep falling down. I don't even know how many days it's been since I've been putting this together, but so far that's been the toughest thing. Um, I am not too good to just take duct tape and duct tape it around the corners. I am being told that's not the smartest thing, but we'll see what happens. Wanted to update you. So the, if you remember, the tripod I had didn't work because it's too thin on the bottom. So when I put it on the ground, it would wobble a whole lot, okay? And this is just one that I had around. So I did what feels like years worth of research for tripods. And I got this one. Another time that I'm going to absolutely ruin how you sit, how you're supposed to pronounce something. Gigoto? So the reason I got this is because a normal tripod can film going this way. Well, this way. Because I'm gonna be using this for social media, I want it to film this way. So I need a tripod that is strong enough to turn on its side and be able to hold the camera up like this. I could film this way and then just edit it so it goes like this, but I'm gonna try to have it go this way. Now, between the camera and the field monitor and the, what else was it, microphone, it came to like six something pounds. So I had to also make sure that the tripod could support that weight. Um, from the research that I did, some tripods could only support three pounds. So I am currently unboxing this right now. It feels very sturdy. Oh my. Um, and it can do a lot more than what I need it to do. I just want it to work. Um, okay. So you see this thing right here, this divot? That is because this thing, if I loosen it properly, let's see how to do that. All this is live, y'all. There we go. Yep, see, I can do it like that. From the Amazon link, I wasn't quite sure if I could do this. So, um, what I need to do is I need to take this off and put it up here so that it's gonna really be going this way, if that makes sense. Um, I think it was just packaged this way for shipping. And then what I'll do is um, at the bottom of the camera, see there's a screw in there and then that's where the screw is. So I will be able to mount it just like that. All right, one more thing off the checklist. One more thing to go. And I think that my signage arrives tomorrow. So I will update you as I know more. Okay, hello and welcome. The studio is officially done. It has been, a, it's been an adventure, I'll tell you that. So I got my sign is finally in, it's mounted. Um, it does have acrylic behind it and that's fine, the lighting We've arranged the lighting so that when it hits it, it does not reflect. So if you do get a neon sign and you're worried about it with the lighting, try not to get the acrylic. Um, luckily, the way that we have the lighting in here, it's not a problem, so that's great. Um, and I wanted to do some texture behind it, meaning if I'm standing here and I'm filming, the camera's right here, I wanna make sure it's not just a plain black wall. I wanted to make sure I had texture, which would add warmth to the videos. So I bought, this plant, again, I'm linking all of this, put two shelves up here. These lights, you can kind of see them in the videos, but they're not a big source of attention, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, you'll see, see, I, they have a dimmer on them. I put them about 50% when I do the videos. And um, this neon sign does have a dimmer, but I just turn it on full blast. Um, Cause I want to make sure that I have that for 
marketing so that when people see it, they can know it comes from me. All right, so besides that, let me show you what else I have. So let me grab this off of here. Okay, hi. So over here, this thing had given me so much trouble. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I just put duct tape on it. <laughs> so duct tape's holding it off. If I don't want it, I can just pull it off one day. It'll be totally fine. Um, and I had it opened simply because since I'm a real estate agent, I do worry about things like mold. So I wanted to make sure that this could open and I could allow sunlight in. And then when I'm ready to shoot, I can just simply bring it down like that. And it's not a big deal at all. Okay, now over here, uh, you'll see I have one of my lights here. This is the opposite of the wall that we're filming on. And then another light right here. So the light here gives me light in my face. The light here actually gives me background light, which is pretty interesting. Now, this is my field monitor and this is my camera. You've seen all of this during the un unboxing. Now, the reason that I got a field monitor was because when I'm standing here and filming, I wanna be able to make sure that I'm in frame. So that allows me to have uh, a view of what I'm doing. And I, when I film, I actually look at the camera, but I have the field monitor to make sure I'm in frame. And then this is my, um, this is my microphone. I tried it with this one. I ended up getting a lav mic. A lav mic is like one of the little guys that you can just clip on here. Um, because the first one that I did, the audio wasn't spectacular. So I can just hook the lav mic on here, so I'll be fine. But that's it, that's my studio. Thank you for being here for this journey. It's been a lot of learning and I'm glad that it's up. So if you wanna watch some of the videos that I'm doing, Instagram, instagram.com backslash home sweet Heidi. Check it out.